2 News at 6. Area school districts are reacting after Governor Jay Inslee announced he is easing state guidelines to allow more students back in the classrooms. But many districts say it's still not enough. They want kids to be allowed back to sports and extracurricular activities as well. And the Reardon superintendent wrote this letter to state leaders yesterday. It was signed by dozens of area superintendents, athletic directors and principals in rural school districts. Krem 2's Whitney Ward has more now on why they say our kids success depends on it. You know, a month ago we, when we had limited uh, safe in person uh, sports practices and conditioning that the morale and overall um, I'd say motivation of the students, you know, increased. And why do you think that's so important? What do you think we're missing out on by not having students participating in those activities? We hear a lot about following the data and the science. And what we know from our data that we are collecting is that our students are struggling, right? Our DNF lists, they're higher than normal. Uh, mental health, we've got data on that now. Uh, you're seeing a trend nationwide on that. And so our students need some hope and they need to be engaged in those activities, whether it be sports or, you know, I'm standing here in the shop today to just point out we could safely have kids in the shop. We could, this shop's big enough to have at least 20 students 20 feet apart in the afternoon safely working and using their gifts and talents on the school campus, which uh, data is showing us could be potentially the safest place that a student could be spending their time. Jim, did you get any hope? Did you feel a little more hopeful after hearing the governor's revised guidelines? Because of uh, yes, I did, uh, because the governor's looking at data. I can't imagine being a high school senior right now and being limited on the activities and you can't go back and get your senior year back. So we want safely and carefully, we want the state to allow us to open up more activities for kids. What do you say to the people who will be listening to you at home saying that's outrageous and completely irresponsible in the face of increasing COVID numbers across the state? What I would say, Whitney, is we've shown we've been in school since December 2nd and we have had we've had a safe reopening of school. And I feel that one of the safest places for kids to be is in schools. For me, it's an equi equity issue too. And so uh, we know that there are, there are students that are student athletes that are going to Vegas and they're playing basketball. And I, you know, they have means to do that. We shouldn't be, you know, having other students that have this ability because they have means and some that don't and are thus less connected. How hard has it been for you knowing that these activities are so valuable for our kids and having to be the one to say, we just can't do it right now. Yeah, well, I feel, you know, I, I think we're all grieving for our kids. Um, our kids have lost a lot in the pandemic. They've lost uh, athletic experiences, performing arts experiences, after school, school clubs, in-school interventions. The, the pandemic has taken so much from them. And I think there is a collective interest to provide those to our students as best as we possibly can. But we have to do it in a way that's going to be productive. Um, it's going to be safe and not do anything that's going to uh, increase spread in our communities. Eric, what do you hope will come of this letter? Kids need to connect. Adults are struggling with this pandemic, and I can't imagine how kids are struggling. And they need, they need adults that listen to them. Wow. Well, both Reardon and Davenport have had students back in the classroom at least a few days a week. They don't expect that will change for the rest of the school year. But SPS says it will have a new plan to start incrementally bringing back third, fourth and fifth graders in January.